We've been having such a beautiful fall here in New England. It's been warm and just really nice to be outside. But we're only about a month away from winter and it's time to get things wrapped up. In this corner is where I keep all of the plants that I've accumulated over the gardening season. Things that I've liked or plants that I've found on clearance and I don't really have a plan for. Don't all us gardeners do that? But now it's time to get them planted temporarily to make it over the winter and then come spring we can find a new home for them out in the garden. I decided that I would plant these plants in the raised beds in my vegetable garden. I have a couple of the beds that I've already cleaned out that no longer have anything in them and I thought that they would be the perfect spot to plant these. The soil is nice and loose and they're elevated. It just makes things a lot easier. So I'm gonna tuck these all in here and plant them pretty close together and hopefully they'll keep each other cozy and make it through the winter just fine. As I was planting these new Autumn Joy sedums that I recently picked up, I had a piece break off. And if that ever happens to you while you're transplanting or planting, just stick it right in the ground. Sedum roots really easily and you'll create a new plant. As a gardener, we always have such ambitious plans when it comes to buying the plants and finding a new spot for them in the garden. But the truth is that the season goes really quickly and we run out of energy and steam pretty quickly. And every year, like clockwork, I experience a little bit of garden burnout. It happens to me in the summer when it's really hot and you're consistently having to water things. And then it happens again at the end of the season where all I wanna do is be inside curled up with a blanket and watching Netflix. But come spring, I'll be really glad that I have all of these plants tucked away, that I can go ahead out into the garden and find new places to use them and update the look of my gardens. So what am I carrying over until next spring? Well, here I'm planting my Sugar Tip Rose of Sharon. I also tucked away my Snowball Bush Viburnum. These are some Shenandoah grasses that I recently found on clearance. I also have some Russian Sage that I picked up earlier in the season with no real plan for them. some Autumn Joy Sedum, and some Coral Bells, and some Boxwood that I was really excited to find. And hopefully I'll find a good spot for them next season. And recently I picked up some Carex that I found on clearance as well. And I'm really happy to have gotten these. It was such a beautiful day to do yard work. So George did the final cut on the lawn and we blew away some leaves. I wanted to clean some of them up so that I could do a little bit of transplanting in this bed. We'll be shredding some to mulch the vegetable garden and some other areas of the garden soon. If you recall back in the spring when I did a video called Roadside Plant Stand, I had bought an astilbe and it bloomed beautifully this season. But towards the end of the summer, it was really crispy. And while all the others that I cut back sent out beautiful new green foliage, that one didn't. But I'm gonna tuck it away in my vegetable garden to see if there's still some life left and what happens next spring. And as a replacement, I'm going to plant this beautiful Hakanakloa areola that I grew in this blue pot this summer. 
in this spot here underneath my beautiful magnolia. It's pretty shady, so I think that will look really lovely there. I've been working on cutting back some of my perennials this fall. While I don't cut back every perennial, I cut back some. I'll leave up things like echinacea because the birds like to eat the seeds and also pollinators like to overwinter in the foliage of some plants. What I do cut back are perennials that typically emerge with brand new foliage from the base in the spring. Peonies, my liatris, as well as iris, and sedums, and even some penicetums that are now done for the season. And the beautiful gomfrina that I had up and down my walkway looking beautiful all season long. This plant was just such an easy to grow annual and so prolific. We're due to get our first hard frost in just a couple of days and they'll likely turn to mush. So while they've had a really good run, it's time to get them all cleaned up. I did go ahead and save quite a few of the bloom heads to let them continue to dry out so that I can collect seeds and grow these beauties again next year. I've had a vegetable garden for quite some time, but a crop that I've never grown before is garlic. And it's so easy, I'm not sure why I've never gotten around to it, but probably has something to do with the fact that it's planted in fall, and that's usually when I'm having my bout of garden burnout. But this year I decided I'd give it a go. I didn't order seed garlic from any retailer. What I did was I just bought two really large heads of garlic at the grocery store. I split them all up and I used just the largest cloves. I ended up with about 18 pieces, so I made three rows of six spaced about six inches apart. Here I'm working on transplanting some Casablanca lilies that I had planted on the foundation side of my home. Now this area is on a pretty decent slope. And so what happened was these lilies would end up leaning forward. Because of the slope and the weight of the lily, they were, weren't really upright. And so I thought that because of that and the fact that they were kind of hidden behind this Colorado blue spruce, that I would move them to a more visible spot and a flatter piece of land so that hopefully they would stand a bit more upright. I decided to plant the Casablanca white lily bulbs all around this weeping blue spruce that I have in my front garden bed. I really like the contrast of the white bloom with this blue evergreen. The Kalimanjaro white marigolds are still looking really pretty and they age from that buttery yellow to a creamy white. My nasturtium left me a gift, a bunch of seeds. This is the Tip Top Alaskan Salmon Nasturtium from Baker Creek and it's absolutely beautiful. So I'm gonna collect some to grow again next year. I still have some bulbs to plant and a couple of things to wrap up. But as the fall draws to a close, I'm really looking forward to the rest from the garden that the winter season brings. Then comes spring, I'll be ready to return with fresh vigor and renewed energy. Thanks for hanging out and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit the thumbs up button and please consider subscribing so you don't miss any of my future videos. And we'll see you soon.